feel terrible. How did I even get back here? Did someone carry me? some poor woman. I could be a real hero and rescue her, or get myself killed. on. Nor all your piety, nor wit, shall lure it back <coughs> oh, Please just lie down. You want to play hide and seek? Hide, <laughs> I wish I kept in shape. Oof. Please don't make a fuss. <sighs> Thank you. 
playing hard to get, are we? You know help the bloody hell party! Help me! So get out! They want meat and potatoes. Uh, I can't uh, make more uh, potatoes out of fungus and leaves. It's just uh, not possible. Uh, I'm not an alchemist. I could make a bit of a we'll see the violence in the system. Butter. But who's got eggs and butter? They want meat and potatoes. You have to go. They'll come back. They'll come back and they'll do terrible things to you. Don't kill me. I'll cook for you. I promise. I'll make you anything you like. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Come back any time, I'll make you something fantastic! My savior! Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What you think? Yummy, isn't it? I ought to drop by someday when I'm in the neighborhood. Stew would be nice, even if it is made out of fungus and leaves. Bloody mule, pick what you can carry easily. You can't have our water. This is it, you never yeah. want. Odd. 
Why are there cables coming out of that painting? Why does that bookshelf look like it doesn't quite fit? I wonder if it's some sort of secret door. I think it needs power. Where can I turn on the power? with you. Not you, it's me. Can I just borrow this? Drop some stuff, Arthur, or it's going to be tediously slow going. How is that door?
good. Now I can come back here with the minimum of fuss. Now I lay me down to sleep. You can't have our water. Look, I don't even want to be here. Hello. At least you can drink from the pumps here. I can take the vanilla. You know it doesn't work for you. Don't you forget that.
My savior! Here, I've been cooking. Taste this. What do you think? Yummy, isn't it? You bloody listen to me, all right? One fine day, the sea boys come running into the regimental HQ, saying there's an elephant jump. broke loose. Now, elephants is very gentle creatures most of the time, and they get along just fine with their man who rides. He's called a mahu. But when they're in heat, you have to chain them up. And this one, they got loose. And there's my hoot went chasing off in exactly the wrong direction. And the elephant runs into the market and starts eating peaches. And the coolie tries to stop him. And the elephant oh, steps on him something horrible. Mashes him right into the mud. And skin comes off his back like he was peeling a grape. So the sea boys come running up to this general. Only then, he was a major, and say, Your mud gum should this elephant. So, he gets his hunting rifle, it's a 505 gives, and he goes down to the market. Only now, the elephant isn't in the market anymore. It's in a field eating leaves, as calm as never mind. So, there's no cause to shoot it anymore. And by now, the mood's come back, and he's screaming and jabbering about, oh, please don't shoot my elephant. You see, he's grown up with an elephant his whole life. And he don't know how to do any other job except sit on that elephant and tell it to pick up a log and carry it over there. But the elephant's taking the life of a man, you see. A coolie, but a man. And the moat's crying and jabbering and cool as a summer breeze. The general chambers around, puts it right through the elephant's arm. <laughs> and the wind just goes out of it. It just kneels down and sighs. And then it's gone. And all the villages are running to get their knives because it's free meat. Now, see, a lesser man would have trembled at the thought of shooting an elephant that's just calmly standing there eating leaves. He might have missed out. Some civilian in Burma had to shoot a rogue elephant and he had to practically empty a whole magazine into the poor thing and it was half an hour of the time. But the general makes a tough choice, you see. So don't you armchair generals tell me what you would have done. Just follow orders and we'll win the next war. The generals promised, all right? No. 
just rest in my feet. They said I could. Well, of course the Germans said you could go on it. I'm saying you can't. I've never been on a battleship. But that's not the point. We hate the Germans, and that battleship is part of the reason the Germans are our lords and masters right now. Do you remember when they came over in all the little boats? Do you mean in 1942 or in 1943? Do you want people to spit on Mum when she goes to the market? She doesn't go to the market. Since 1945. Well, look, this is just one of those things. I can't explain every single detail of everything to you. Are you mad at me? D I'm not. You're not? I mean, yes, I am. I am mad. I was mad, but now I'm not. Look, please don't go on the Bismarck. It will get you into trouble, which means I'll then be in trouble. All right. You won't go? I couldn't go without you, anyway. For once, that's a relief. No fucking civilians! Yeah. I have to kill you now. Christ. I better not let anyone see me out of uniform. <laughs> <laughs> 